to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Is there that every planting that is not of the God of heaven right now in the name of Jesus my God such a strong anointing moving from seat to seat the Lord is rolling away burdens right now I rebuke devils of infirmity yeah. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, my grain headaches, all sorts be healed right now. All kinds of lumps, all kinds of growths. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing a breast lump, the left side of your breast. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you. Be healed right now. There's someone I'm sensing you have a pain your left this is your left limb i don't know something that has to do i don't know if it's a bone condition or muscle in the name of jesus right now i stretch my hands be healed by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost heart palpitations be healed right now in the name of jesus christ be healed right now be healed right now There's someone, I don't know if it's that, I'm not a doctor, but you are always having insufficient blood in your body. In fact, one time they had to transfuse blood. It's like you don't have enough blood. It's like there's something that just keeps taking away the blood in your body. A miracle is happening to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit there is a pattern of sickness this is not just one person it's like everyone in the family recurrent sicknesses mother has it children have it in the name of Jesus I break cycles I break cycles demonic patterns in the name of Jesus Christ praise the Lord please can we have the prayer requests please everyone I want you to be just just help her thank you Please, I'd like you to be very spiritual and sensitive. We're here for just a few minutes, but it can be a defining moment in our lives. If you're yet to submit your own, please just wave it. You don't have to come up. Just wave it. Please, let's have a few ushers. Just help us. If there are overflows, you can. Those online, don't worry. You can connect by faith. The presence of God let me give us one last key we began to discuss the principles and the protocol of his presence the factors that help men capture superior dimensions of his presence the overflow here I just saw light on two people please hold them they would be running up and down just shouting just hold them I'm seeing an impartation the Lord is breaking circles of delay. Two people. This is what I'm seeing. Please just help them. Circles. This is a pattern in the family. No matter how hard working, it looks like you are at the same position. The power of God is breaking that right now. Please don't miss your moment. In the name of Jesus, there is a strong anointing that is coming upon you. Hali Sela Kuria Shadabranda Katusiata. Help them. When the power of God will come on them, you just hold them so that they don't have to injure themselves. Hmm. 
the Lord is saying I should break there is a spirit that kills the men in a family the men masculine gender just keeps dropping them down in the name of Jesus every covenant on any family here in the name of Jesus I break that covenant by the power that is in the name of Jesus oh death where is your sting oh grave where is your victory the spirit that kills men in this family I come against you now in the name of Jesus Christ let's sit down Oh shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming after me No wall you won't kick down Lie you won't tear down Coming after me We said the first key was love and passion for God You must love God beyond your necessary food you must love God beyond reputation if you are to host his presence. Number two, the desire to please him with your life and in obedience to his commands. Number three, an intense atmosphere of prayer and worship. Not just as a one-off act, as a lifestyle. Praising him with your life, praising him with your lips. And the last key, that controls the manifestation of the presence of God in the life of a man is a mystery called sacrifice. Psalm 50 verse 5. Gather unto me my saints, the Bible says, they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Sacrifice here is beyond money. The sacrifice of your life, the sacrifice of your time, the sacrifice of your resources please pay attention you will never be able to host certain levels of God's presence until your life becomes an embodiment of sacrifice one scripture and then we'll pray first Kings 18 from verse 17 first Kings 18 from verse 17 please pay attention this was Elijah thank you Elijah and the prophets Elijah and the prophets at Mount Carmel and it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah that Ahab said unto him art thou he that troubled Israel and he answered I have not troubled Israel but thou and thy father's house in that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord next verse and thou hast followed Baal now therefore send and gather me all Israel unto Mount Carmel and the prophets of Baal, 450, and the prophets of, you know, all of those people at Jezebel's table, verse 20. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long shall ye halt be ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him but if Baal then follow him 22 and the people answered him not a word and Elijah said unto the people I even I only remain a prophet of the Lord but Baal's prophets are 450 men let them therefore give us two bullocks watch this they are about to end the issue of who is God and the proof is who is able to show up but before then he's talking of sacrifice give us two bullocks and let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on wood and put no fire under and I will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and put no fire under and call ye on the name of your gods and I will call on the name of the Lord and the God that answers by fire my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming 
Your deliverer is standing by. The God that answers by fire. Let that God be God. 25. Now watch what happened. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, Choose you one bullock for yourself and dress it first. Since ye are many and call upon the name of your God. Put no fire on that. Uh -huh. And they took the bullock which was given them. Listen. And they dressed it and called upon the name of Baal from morning even till noon. Saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice. Nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made. Now watch this. Notice what began to happen to them as their desperation grew. The power of sacrifice in invoking presence. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Cry aloud for he is a God. Either he is talking or he is pursuing or he is in a journey. What a God. Or peradventure he sleepeth and must be awake. And they cried aloud. Now, when they found out their crying could not call him, they switched into sacrifice. The last card that brings presents. They caught themselves. Can you imagine? They knew that there was something. There was a relationship between invoking the presence of his spirit and sacrifice. The Bible says they caught themselves after their manner with knives and latchets till the blood gushed out of them. And it came to pass when midday was past, and they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice. Elijah is about to call God, but he knew there was a timing the time of the evening sacrifice. There was no voice, there was nothing. Next verse. And Elijah said unto the people, Now you come near unto me. They came near and he repaired the altar of the Lord. Next verse. And Elijah took 12 stones. You know the story. But he allowed them to play around doing everything they did. And there was an exact timing. The Bible calls it the time of the evening sacrifice. There is a relationship between sacrifice and the presence of God. And Solomon loved the Lord, the Bible says in 1 Kings 3. And he offered a thousand bond offerings. God did not send an angel. He came himself. He said, your sacrifice has brought me here. What would I do for you? And then he says, I need an understanding heart. And he said, I will give you what you have asked for. And I will also give you what you did not ask for. Sacrifice sacrifice of your time sacrifice of your life are we together now romans chapter 12 and verse 1 says i beseech thee brethren by the mercies of god that ye offer your bodies a living sacrifice a sacrifice yet is not dead he calls it a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto god and he calls it your reasonable act of service some versions will say your act of worship. When your life becomes a sacrifice. You provide the fire. Now provide a sacrifice. You provide the spirit. I will open up, fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. Fire does not come upon nothing. His presence will not come upon nothing. You must become that living sacrifice. You want to carry His presence. You must become a sacrifice your entire life not just your hand not just your songs 
sacrifice of your resources this is for you oh god there is nothing i cannot give you sacrifice of your time you own my life and you own the times therein please listen to me when you commit to a life of sacrifice in fact we know this instinctively and by experience that everything of value comes at a cost there is nothing that is of value that is free or cheap even if it is free to you it was only paid by someone who is not you the majestic presence of god the miracle working presence of god the burden lifting presence of god the life destiny altering presence of god will not rest upon you until your life becomes a living sacrifice the sacrifice of your time the sacrifice of your life the sacrifice of your resources everything you've heard me say the price for all of God is all of you the price for all of God is all of you not some of you all of you everything You combine these factors together and you're already on a journey to host superior dimensions of his presence. Your love for God, your committal to please him. An atmosphere of prayer and worship and then a life of sacrifice. Sacrifice to see kingdom come. Your resources, your life, your times it's impossible to follow this protocol and not carry divine presence everything that you have belongs to him and it must be a delightsome sacrifice you give god your singing you withhold your money is hypocrisy if he's lord he must be lord of everything you give god your money you withhold your worship and your heart is hypocrisy he must be lord of everything it all belongs to you oh it all belongs to you it all belongs to you oh hallelujah now let me tell you in as much as it is true that when we seek God more than the need to solve our problems we seek him because we love him but he's benevolent enough to not leave our problems to go back with us this is the God that we serve that more than solving problems our desire is to love him and to live for him however he said if you being evil know how to give good gifts if he's a faithful and a responsible father he will not just come to watch you roll before him and then go back the same way and leave you no way this is about the most accurate representation of our burdens our challenges I may not have the time to prophesy I may not have the time to minister to people individually even if I do we see in part and we prophesy in part but this is a representation the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 it says be anxious for nothing scripture declares it says but in everything in everything the cure for anxiety be anxious or careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he says let your request be made known don't just assume let it be made known and in this second service we have come to say lord we love you but there are issues in our lives lord we love you but we live in times that require your power lord we love you but do not let my children continue this way. 
I love you, but my health, I'm holding a death sentence while I praise you. Only the living can serve you. Jehovah Jireh is my provider. Your grace is sufficient for me. Jehovah, my provider, your grace is sufficient for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. He shall put his angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. So in the next few minutes that we have, I want you to sit back and watch the wonder-walking God. The one who will not leave you the way you came. The one who in one moment, one moment, one moment can turn the captivity of years this is not just a preacher's talk the God we serve is a mighty God when you do your own part then you step back and then he will show you that he's the mighty one what is this that ailed thee Lord years of pain a medical report that will not bow to your name see the woman with the alabaster box was not just breaking she did not just break a box of spikenard a year's wages no she took all her shame and put it in that alabaster box she took all her frustrations she did not just break the jar with perfume she carried her everything like you have brought it before the Lord and when he received it everything that represented shame and reproach in her life rolled away we're going to pray but the few minutes that we have especially for the women and by extension all of us and for those following online honestly the power of God is real when the presence of God shows up he shows up with his power there is no president that comes alone even if he wants to visit you there is no governor that comes alone any even senior executives they move with a convoy those convoys have all kinds of provisions they may have a medical team working with them they have all kinds of systems of correspondences they have all kinds of things will God really come and come alone oh no he comes with his lifting he comes with open doors he comes with keys he comes with a bomb that is in Gilead that's why I told you just calling those things one by one there are times imagine that you want to call the commissioner for this or the minister for this or this and that you want to call the chief security officer you can call them all but look at that burden just call the president when you call the president or you call the topmost executive in the capacity of his office all the rest are mandated to follow him they will follow him and they will come together is that true yes if the president or any senior government executive or company executive is coming in the capacity of their office they would come with the full entourage and he is here with the angels here with his spirit here with his power to reach and to bless now whilst you're seated in one minute I'd like you to just pray and say father turn my life around change my destiny please open your mouth in one minute begin to mention the specific things Some of you are praying for your children. Some of you is a health issue. Financial issues. Legal issues. Let's pray.
You are the covenant keeping God. Keep praying. Ah. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. You are you are the covenant keeping God. Yes, he still wipes tears. The covenant keeping God, Yahweh. The covenant keeping God, Yahweh. The covenant keeping God. For the last time now. The covenant keeping God Yahweh The covenant keeping God Shalabarata Gadabala Katusia The covenant keeping God Job forty two verse ten. The Bible talks about a man called Job whose wife at a point told him, look, I love you, but with the reality of what you've gone through, please curse God and die. Job 42 verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Joshua Selman. When he prayed, and the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Let's see how he did it. Next verse. 11. Then came there unto him all his brethren. The ones who left him all. A grace came on Job and began to call them back. And all his sisters. And all they that had been his acquaintances. Before. And the Bible says he did eat bread with them in the house. Verse 12. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. And the Bible says, every man also gave him a piece of money. Every man. Help that lady. I'm seeing oil coming on her head. This one placing her hand on her face. In the name of Jesus, that captivity over your life is rolled away now. You came to church. The Bible says, I was glad when they said unto me, everything that is not the planting of God, I join my faith with the pastor, the angel over this house. I declare in the name of Jesus, it leaves your destiny now. It leaves your destiny now. Every planting, activities of witchcraft, wizardry upon your destiny, bringing you shame and reproach. In the name of Jesus, may the power of God come upon you. I command that devil to leave you now. I'm praying for people. In the name of Jesus, everyone here under any kind of chain, here at this women conference any chain that has held you held your children held your promotion held everything that pertains to you in the name of jesus break break lift your voice and begin to pray i break that chain over my destiny i break that chain over my children i break that chain over my career by the presence of god Shalabagada brande kete paruta siata, shalakete paretu siata la rahasi. Hallelujah. We don't have all the time, and I must respect the time given. But I'm seeing a woman here. You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I want you to rejoice because this is there is a big miracle. 
there is a big miracle there is a big miracle a big miracle that I'm seeing happening you see before you believe a man find out about him don't just believe for nothing there is a name oh, that is above all names I'm seeing oil being poured on that lady lifting her hand at the back right now in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord is saying captivity is over for you over for you in the name of Jesus over for you thank you Jesus the Lord is showing me I'm seeing something happening in an office this is a discussion happening on how to remove someone that is already this is what I'm seeing like a discussion happening to remove like relocate the person maybe to another part of this nation from Lagos and this is wickedness I stand by the God of heaven anyone who is laughing with you in the open but going behind you to conspire for your downfall in the name of Jesus by this conference we clear them out of the way hallelujah the Bible says withhold not good from him that it is due when it is within your power I'm sensing in my spirit and the Lord is saying I should pray there are people there are things that are supposed to have entered your hand for some of you maybe financial resources you played your part but individuals and institutions have refused to release what must come in the name of Jesus help them please by the power of the Holy Ghost whoever is holding what must enter your hand I prophesy to you overturn 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 till it enters your hand overturn 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 till it enters your hand overturn 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 till it enters your hand help this woman I'm seeing some help that woman this will not be before the end of June I'm seeing a major breakthrough this woman under the anointing I don't know you man but I'm speaking to you by the spirit before the end of June you will never forget this woman conference again I'm saying it whoever is holding what should enter your hand that God has already commanded whether it's a job, whether it's your finances, whether it's an opportunity, I stand by the rod of the prophetic in the name that is above all names. I command it to enter your hand. Please help them. Shalika paroto subakata. Embrekete skele barutosia. All I walk on the road is turning things around. Yeah. All I walk on the road is turning things around. Yeah. All I walk on the road is turning things around for my good. One more time. All I walk on the road is presence of God I want to pray for you there was a grace that came upon the ark of Noah and without him calling the animals every one of them found their way to the ark God wants to take away this yoke of looking for things going around there is a grace that can come on a man believe me the same grace that made the animals obedient they left wherever they were imagine that Noah went to look for them one by one I stand by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus with the grace of God upon our father here and the grace of God upon our father Baba Deboe in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare whatever must enter your life wherever it is right now across this nation across Africa we call it by prophecy 
We call it help the police. We call it by prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I hope you are not tired. Listen, please. We are going to cause delay. Listen. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of other people finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten would have been honored. Are we together now? The Bible says they were all virgins. But the delay of the bridegroom, the unit of destiny is timed. I want to pray for someone. The delay of the bridegroom. Haratu Ziata. Listen. One man, Joseph, pleaded with him after solving his problem. He said, please, when you go to the king, don't delay me here. Talk to the king. One man's forgetfulness added two years to another man's life. I pray for you. Everything that has made you forgotten, I stand by the God of heaven and I open the book of remembrance in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the book of remembrance be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. And that night could not Hazarus sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. When they opened it, he saw where Mordecai had saved his life and was not rewarded. I don't know who you have helped. Some of you have spent your life raising people. Some of you, you raise people more than you raise your own children. Some of them are lifted today and there is a spirit that has turned their face from you. I stand by the God of heaven and I declare whoever you have helped to rise, I compel them to remember you for good. I remember talking to a dear man of God who is in politics and one of the few times that I saw an elderly person cry like a baby and he said apostle let me tell you I have helped many people in this nation I was part of their rising I stood by them in truth I helped them sincerely when it was time for lifting as they were recommending me someone will show up from nowhere who has no history of participating in that pain before your enemies get to your helpers in the name of Jesus may a good voice reach them I know a businessman these are true stories and this man helped build and set up a lot of great things and one time they were about to recommend him for something and then here comes these evil people coming again and this is how they push this man there are people here who have spent their lives helping people you are the one who got people born again you are the one who even led them to church when any good thing is about to happen God uses you to lift people but when the reward should come there is a spirit that stands blocking you from that door every door that stands before you every door that stands before you that you will not eat the fruit of your labor I pray by extension to every mother here please listen listen while we were at the rotunda just having some time before we come our, our dear mother here asked me a question and said why is it that many of the youths and the young people are frustrated and I thought closely as we we're walking down this place and I said there is a spirit that has been released in Africa that wants parents to not eat the fruit of their labor please listen it's a wicked and evil spirit a labor and raise children and all of a sudden you will see a child excelling within a state within a nation and the mother is there mama is there laboring she sold firewood to send him to school he's building houses for people and raising the children of others and blessing the parents of others 
the hand of Zerubbabel that started this work the Bible says that same hand will complete let me pray for every parent here that in the name of Jesus the spirit of rebellion that the devil will want to put on your children to make sure they either don't listen to you or don't end up blessing you I scatter that operation of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ I know this is a women conference but please permit me to pray for our young people and bless them it is a cause to sit down and be waiting for your parents to die so that your life will find meaning it's a dangerous and evil spirit don't feel offended this is a conference it's our mothers that put this together to bless the body why will you sit down and be waiting you are anticipating let my father die let my mother die so that I can fight over some property it is a joy of every parent to see their children rise in their lifetime and excel father whatever is making our young people to mark time at the same level for many years I stand by the God of heaven and here in this church every young person hear me in the name that is above all names by prophecy I push you into your destiny I push you into your destiny a life of dignity a life of relevance a life of dignity a life of relevance a life of dignity a life of relevance hallelujah praise the name of the Lord one more prayer point and then we we'll pray over this request God is a God of portions that means it is not God's desire for you to be the one serving people forever a day should come listen a day should come understand what I'm saying please this is with respect to establishment a day should come when God should also carve your own niche and honor you so that you can own start your own life this was the mistake Laban refused to allow Jacob go because God is a God of portions when you serve for a while then he settles you and now you build your own tent yourself then raise others too then they will raise others too that's how you perpetuate blessings that's why blessings are not perpetuated in Africa because people are not raised Laban refused to allow Jacob to be established he conjured through divination to find out that there was something on Jacob that was responsible for his blessings there's nothing wrong with people paying you or blessing you but there are some of you here you are the only one out of 12 people who is doing well there is still trouble though. you are still not free are we together now no matter how much you are making if you are only one out of 12 people the truth is that you are going to go through stress that may kill you young is that true do you agree with me so it's not enough to pray that God lift me you must pray God lift those who are around me too this is one of the cure for jealousy bitterness envy if all the brothers of Joseph had dreams too all of them would be partners in progress but because only one person had a dream the brother said we'll kill you it's an unpleasant discussion and I apologize but there are some of us here as you are standing the war between you and family members extended relatives simply because of what God is doing in your life you can't have peace to enjoy what God gave you ah you marry a rich man and you are forgetting us and you are saying what is all this Africa makes you feel guilty for being responsible they make you feel guilty for doing well it's not enough to pray that you excel you must pray that all who are around he said as for me and my house and my house we will serve the Lord me and my house we will prosper me and my house we will rise me and my house we will not be the ones begging people 
I know you are standing for a while. I apologize. I want to rebuke a spirit here. There are families here. Nobody has ever been a leader. Everybody remains a servant. From father to mother to younger ones. The only place you find in life. I'm not just talking of serving like kingdom service. I'm talking of slavery. Out of ten children. Eight children. Seven children. Nobody lifts up his head. Because there are horns. Zechariah 1.18 these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem, against Judah, and against Israel. So that no man doth lift his head in the name of Jesus. If there is any covenant tying any family down, that the only way you will eat is by being slaves. I stand by the grace of God here at this service. And in the name of Jesus, we declare those ordinances are broken forever. Those ordinances are broken forever. Those ordinances are broken forever. Hallelujah. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence, the destruction that wasted in noon day. Armed robbers want to steal a car. They wait till they, you pack your own. Just when you pack it here, they come. They want to arrest people for something. They wait until your child just shows up. Then they carry him. And it is, you will be too late for tragedy in the name of Jesus Christ. Whenever trouble will show up, it's minus you minus your children in the name of Jesus Christ Job said he will deliver you from six things one of it is the scourging tongues of men anybody say let's see what will become of them they will see forever yes. hallelujah are you ready to pray we're going to pray I believe in the power of prayer I have a covenant of answered prayer with God that's why I pleaded that we pray over this request because we desire that you never forget this conference that you will remember that here at this women conference this was where I submitted an impossible request and the God of heaven arose and did mighty things for me provable manifestations of his presence i'm going to bow my knees to god here you may not kneel but just stretch your hands and let's agree let's call upon the god who answers prayers i plead the blood i plead the blood i plead the blood I plead the blood, the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, eternal saving blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, 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 I plead listen to me it does not matter what the cause you see they came to Jesus and they said who seen that this man was born blind was it his father or him and he said neither but that the glory of the Lord be revealed we come by the blood over this request father in the name of Jesus here at the king's court here at this women conference 
this is a representation of the tears of many the pain of many the shame of many the disappointments of many the expectations of many the long-standing issues of many father for some people these are death sentences for some people these are issues of grievances for some people these are long awaited expectations but in the name of Jesus God you who answers by fire arise O mighty one breathe upon this request turn them into testimonies in the name of Jesus 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 every spirit responsible for the issues represented here by the blood of the eternal covenant we decree and declare let it give way now hear me any human agent in fraternity with spirits and are responsible for the pain written here by the God of heaven we declare vengeance and judgment vengeance and judgment vengeance and judgment Luke 18 it was a widow who came and said avenge me my adversary and for a while that man would not avenge her but for her importunity Lord I bow my knees alongside our mothers the women of excellence that you have so ordained and we cry on behalf of every request here turn it into testimonies some of the requests here are here because you refuse to hear God God spoke and you did not listen we plead the blood and we declare mercy some of the requests here are here because of mistakes that people have made in the name of Jesus we plead the blood some of the requests are here because of the manipulations of men and spirits in the name of Jesus Christ we declare liberty forever father every one here who has written a request that has been appointed to death untimely death we bow our knees to you and in the name of Jesus we close the mouth of the grave please say amen we close the mouth of the grave hallelujah there are spirits that refuse to allow resources enter the hands of people they work diligently they give their best but rewards do not come we call upon the God of heaven who is a rewarder of men in this season may the dew of heaven be open for you in the name of Jesus Christ may the dew of heaven be open for you for some of you the request you have written here is not even for yourself it's for your children the devil wants to wage war and scatter your family but in the name that is above all names God who is also the keeper of Israel may he be the keeper of your home in John 17 Jesus prayed and said all that you have given me I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition and that that scripture may be fulfilled everything and everyone God has given you I declare they are kept in the name of Jesus and I pray for the women in this church and by extension every woman who is watching from around the world women are gates in the realm of the spirit we decree and declare the voice of women will not be silenced in the name of Jesus particularly the women in this church we stand to announce to you by the spirit 
foundations of sapphire in the name of Jesus step into seasons of favor step into seasons of lifting 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 that when men say there is a casting down for you let it be that there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ Therefore, we declare the fire of God falls upon this request. They are turned into testimonies. Marvelous testimonies. Marvelous testimonies. Marvelous testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. Let me speak to you. Whatever has brought tears in your eyes, I know that in the last one year it's been a challenging period, but in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare, your season of crying comes to an end. Your season of crying comes to an end. Your season of crying comes to an end. The Bible says, go weeping and just for a night. It says joy comes with the morning. We declare that the dawn of a new day happens for you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for everyone connected to you who is not here. Because you are here. In the name of Jesus we send angels to homes. We send angels to continents where your loved ones are represented. And we declare that the same grace and the same testimony here. May it rest upon them for good. In the name of Jesus. Two more prayers and we're done. Let me pray for your spiritual life. No matter what you have. If you lose the presence of God. You lost everything. There are people here your prayer life has gone down in truth. Your word study life, your passion for God, it didn't used to be like this. You used to have a hunger as an individual, as homes, as families. Don't feel guilty. The hair of Samson can grow back. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus, every altar that has been void of genuine fire, the fire of his presence, let there be a resurrection now. Let there be a reignition now. Let there be a reactivation now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray. Let sons and daughters rise from the king's court. Noble men and women. Kings and queens. In music, in business, in ministry, in politics, in corporate life. In the name of Jesus Christ, shame and reproach remains far from this church. Shame and reproach remains far from our mothers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now let me encourage you, as you return back home, please take the time to just celebrate God. Ideally, after prayer like this, you wash it down with the sacrifice of praise. That's how you seal things and thanksgiving. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, make your request known. So Lord, we thank you in the name that is above all names. And let me sincerely celebrate and thank and honor and truly appreciate the executives of the foundation of Sapphire and Pastor Bensa and the entire King's Court thank you for the love it's always an honor every time the Lord grants an opportunity to serve Jesus in this capacity it's been a brief time but I believe a fruitful one together we go from glory to glory from grace to grace oh by the way allow me to steal one minute and we speak peace over Nigeria how could we end without this in the name of Jesus the voice of violence the voice of wickedness from state to state and region to region we stand as the body of Christ the women stand as wailing women the ones who stand upon the walls and we decree and declare Nigeria God's Jerusalem shalom to you
Shalom to our children. Shalom to our institutions. Shalom in government. Shalom in churches. Shalom in our marketplaces. The sounds of war. The sounds of languishing. The sounds of death. The sounds of evil. In the name of Jesus will be far from our territory. In the name of Jesus Christ. The truth is that this nation needs help. Lord help us. We can't pretend to have all the answers. The days of arrogance is over. It is clear that we need help. Help that only God can provide. And so we call upon the helper of men. This is not the first time. He is a master over darkness. Lord, I stand in faith and we cry over Nigeria. We extend it to Africa and even the globe. Let there be peace for your name's sake. In the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.